What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another unboxing real video. Today I have the highly anticipated Shimano Metanium DC for 2024. This all new brand new model has a cult following here in the United States whether you're freshwater fishing or saltwater fishing. If you're big into Shimano, especially the Metanium lineup, you know the DC is their top of the line. It's one of the best. And it's honestly one of my favorites in my entire lineup. And today I have it in my hands, courtesy of Digitaka.com. Guys, if you don't know who Digitaka.com is, I highly recommend you check out their website. They are the lowest price JDM fishing store in the entire world that will ship to your door in two business days or possibly even less, maybe a little bit more, just depending on if it's a holiday or not, but they are the best legitimate website to purchase your high-end JDM, Shimano, Abu Garcia, Daiwa, um, whatever else your heart fancies, they pretty much have it on the website. And I have a coupon code that's going to last to the end of April, which is only a few days, so take advantage before it expires. That new coupon code is 9F2, once you get a 9Frank2. And if you happen to watch this video after April and you can't use that discount code, well, no worries. Give me a follow on Instagram. You have to follow me on Instagram, right? Send me a direct message and I'll be more than happy to hook you up with a brand new coupon code. So without further ado, let's go to the bird's eye view and check out this new unboxing and whether or not it's worth putting it in your tackle box today. Woo, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bird's eye view, let's get this done, man. Super excited about this new reel. I know you guys are. Hope you're enjoying the unboxing ASMR. <laughs> Make sure that mic is up close and personal. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Woo wee! Ah, look at that. What else do we have in the box here? Instagram. Uh, check out Digitaka. Let's see right here. Some media from Digitaka.com. Thank you so much. You can see it's pretty well securely packed. Put that to the side. And we got us the bad boy right here, the brand new Shimano Metanium DC. Man, I can't tell you how much I've anticipated this reel. It's been, I wanna say nine years since the last remodel, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a long, long time. Woo, there she is. Oh, I already smell the unboxing already, baby. Let's get this done right here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm not even looking at the real man. It's just pure bliss. Okay, what do we have here? We have Metanium DC70HG. So you guys know that this is not fake news. Put that to the side. Some information about the DC itself. Japanese writing. Can't read Japanese. Parts diagram right here. Don't care. Manual in Japanese. And eh, we don't care. Put that to the side. And we care about this bad boy right here, man. This is what I'm talking about. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, she is freaking black, <laughs> jet black. And you guys already know this, man. I mean, it's gonna. It might annoy some people because some people just don't like that black-looking Batman Begin type. I don't know, Batman Returns type colorway. But I don't mind it at all. It's a glossy black, really, really handsome reel. Oh man, it is buttery, buttery smooth. Wowzers, wowzers. That is a freaking nice reel. Right off the bat, the thing that I'm noticing is how small it is, how compact it is, and how light this reel is for a DC model. All right, let me put all this away and then we'll talk about it further. All right, I gave it a good look over. And man, it, it's a, such a handsome looking reel. It's so small. Honestly, I don't think Shimano has ever made a DC reel, digital control braking reel, this small. I mean, this is this is breakthrough technology, ladies and gentlemen, because usually when you buy a DC reel, they're heavier because of the DC unit in the side plate here. And plus, they have a bigger profile. But man, but gosh, Shimano hit it out of the park with this brand new Metanium DC model. And if this is moving forward with all the new DC models that's been coming out, man, sign me up. That is such, such innovation right there. I mean, what? I mean, I don't expect. I don't. I, I'm not too surprised because I know Shimano is very innovative and they're very original when it comes to fishing. You know, fishing real design and engineering. I mean, 
I mean, that's why they're the best in the world in my opinion, but let's put that down. Let's take a look at the box here. It's a gray charcoal box, nothing really too exciting. Honestly, I expected it to come with oil. If you guys notice, Shimano doesn't put oil in their reels anymore. And this being a higher end reel, I would say medium to higher end reel, not high as in Terry's. I, I would expect a little velvet I mean, pouch maybe, I don't know, neoprene pouch to protect it, but does not come with it. But uh, yeah, but for your Japanese freaks out there, it is made in Japan and not made in Malaysia, not made in Singapore, not made in Vietnam, but it is made in Japan. Once again, man, such a freaking nice reel and it's tight, tight tolerances. That clutch button is, that's pretty tight. <laughs> All right, let's get to the needy greedy here. Why the Shimano Matania BC? What is it made for? Who is it made for? All that good stuff. Why would you want to buy this and add it to your uh, fishing tackle today? Well, Shimano is calling this new generation Matanium DC a reborn Neo Versatile machine. Now, this is straight from the Matanium DC Japanese website from Shimano.com. So I am taking this word for word, a reborn Neo Versatile Machine, reborn meaning reborn from the previous generation Matanium DC because it was a bigger, heavier um, DC reel where this is a smaller, more compact and versatile directed type of reel for that angler that's looking to throw heavier and lighter lures. Lighter, lighter lures, if you guys have been following me, is a big thing to me. BFS is a big thing to me. Now, I'm not saying this is a BFS DC reel, but you are you should be able to easily throw lightweight lures with this. I'm thinking easily 3 16th ounce and maybe 1 8th ounce, even lower, uh, possibly. Let me get the uh, factual, and I will tell you later on in the video. But, yeah, versatile in the meaning of all types of baits and lures. Uh, it's a new design. Once again, you can use lightweight lures, heavy lures. It's a new smaller body design to give the angler more comfortable palming position and all day usability. Um, I mean, man, I can see myself using this all day long, casting a few hundred up to a thousand times, looking for that redfish flounder speckled trout off the Texas coast. This model is for that angler that appreciates the DC braking, the digital control braking that's inside that, that technology that Shimano has brought out to us. Uh, fishing gurus out here <laughs> that love that zoo sound. You know exactly what I'm talking about. There we go. See if we can get, catch that. It's very faint, but obviously, obviously, if you're using this out in the water, it'll be a little bit louder. Uh, the new, new DC system, it's the IDC5, has a new firmware to give it more excellent far casting performance and anti backlashing. So, yeah, there's a lot of improvements in this bad boy here and rightfully so shimano has big shoes to fill especially from the previous generation of the metanium dc because that had a cult following it was one of my favorite personal reels i've had in my lineup i mean i love that previous generation so like i said this model right here has big big shoes to fill all right let's talk about the specs real fast i'll have it listed right here so you guys follow along uh specs it comes in three different gear ratios 6.2 7.1, 8.1. I opt for the 8.1 as you guys can see here because I just prefer a faster gear ratio. Max drag is gonna be 11 pounds and some change. The weight of this is new and surprising. For a DC model, once again, you expect it to be seven, maybe eight ounces, but Shimano really knocked it out of the ballpark with this. It's only 6.17 ounces. If you wanna round it up to two, 6.2 ounces, whatever, floats your boat. But yeah, that is super lightweight for a DC model. I have some models out here from Daiwa and Shimano that weighs the same, that's not even a DC model, just putting it in perspective. All right, so let's talk about the features. I kind of went over them in the beginning, but you know what, I wanna talk about them more specifically and then more in depth because, man, I really love this reel. If you guys can tell but uh yeah it has a new mgl spool 3 as you guys can see there let's see if we can get there we go mgl spool 3 actually let's go and take it out so we can show you what this spool is all about and mgl spool 3 this is this should kind of hit home with you guys especially if you're a big metanium fan because this is the actual same diameter size spool that comes in the shimano uh, shallow metanium shallow edition excuse me and that in my opinion is probably right now my favorite Metanium model the shallow edition just because of how versatile it is and how I'm able to throw small almost BFS like lures 
with that reel and now that this DC model comes with it, in my opinion, I feel like this is a shallow edition DC. I know Shimano didn't call this, but this is the way I see it. It's a new Shimano Shallow Edition DC, in my humble opinion, okay? I mean, you know, correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I mean, this is, gosh, I mean, it has a new DC system right here. As you can see, the digital control, well, you can't really see the chip like you used to. Everything is locked up and uh, safely tucked in within the side plate here, which is a good thing. So it actually protects it more, I guess, from water entrance and any kind of corrosion that might happen in the salt water. But yeah, that's the spool right there. That is a new feature that comes with this model. And I love this spool. I really actually love this spool. So when they say versatility, versatile, this spool is very, very versatile. IDC5, once again, we kind of talked about that. I kind of talked about it. I wish you can really see more of it, but you can't. It's inside this unit here. Efficiency, more long cast, less anti-back or more anti-backlashing properties. Uh, and it's it's just a better, more updated DC firmware and DC product that's going to be in this Mutanium DC. Another new feature that the Shimano Mutanium DC has compared to the old model is now you can make your adjustments outside of the side plate. In the past, the previous model, in order to change the type of line you were using or tell the braking system which line you're using, you would have to make it inside the side plate so that's no longer available now they put it outside which i think is much smar smarter uh, in my opinion it makes it more convenient for the angler to change it right away so what does what do the letters mean n f and p so n stands for nylon if you're using nylon type uh, line let me see if i can get that a little bit more focused there hopefully you guys can see that f is right in the middle here so what does f mean that means fluorocarbon type line and P is going to be P which is pretty much braid for us Americans here and you also have five different distinct uh, functions here of the braking system too so you have a total of 15 different types of customization I guess with the braking system if you want to put it that way total but if you're using like say you're using P like braided line right you're going to have five so you'll have five different breakings where minimum is going to be down here and maximum is going to be up here just to give you that longer cast and more customization to type of lures you're throwing and once again guys I tell you this is lightweight and why is it lightweight it's because this is the first DC model ever to adapt a high rigid core solid body so when you when you hear about core solid bodies you hear, hear about different models that Shimano has for example like the Aldebaran or, or in the Bantam and perhaps the Metanium Shallow Edition there are you know core solid body giving them a smaller profile a much lighter stance more efficiency just more power and all that good stuff and honestly they finally apply that to this new DC model that's why you're able to get a smaller profile, a lighter DC model. And if you read some of the reviews from the pro anglers on the Japanese website, they're saying that this is unconventional for a DC model. They don't, they can't tell that this is a DC model because of how small and lightweight it is. They're used to DC models being heavier, bigger profile, not as comfortable to palm, not as able to use all day because it's it's heavier, obviously. So, I mean, once again, Shimano hit it out of dang park with this Metanium DC. And oh yes, does it come with a drag clicker? That is a good question, folks. Let me check. Oh my gosh. Come on, Shimano. No drag clicker. I apologize, guys. That is kind of disappointing. You expect a drag clicker with this high end of a model, but it's not available, unfortunately. Maybe you'll be able to add it aftermarket parts, but it's going to add to the weight, etc., etc. Man, that, that is really disappointing, man. <laughs> really disappointing. Because I know like Casking, their cheapest $60 reel. I know it's not a DC model. It's not comparing apples to apples. But man, that comes with a drag clicker. Why can't they include a drag clicker in this? But, uh, oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, crazy, man. Uh, so what am I going to pair this with? I'm most likely, no, I'm not most likely. I am going to pair this up with the old 18 suppressor light action rod. If you guys are looking for a discount code, use my discount code ARXANGLER to get a Made in USA light action rod that's going to go perfectly with this that so you're able to throw light lures and a little bit heavier lures with that uh, setup there. And braided line, I'm most likely going to go Veravis 1.2 gauge. 1.2 gauge I think is going to be perfect 
maybe 1.5, but I'm thinking 1.2 because that's what I use on my shallow edition Metanium. And I once again, I really feel like this is a Shimano Metanium shallow edition DC model. And I know you guys can get mad at me for saying that because it's not really called that, but I mean, with the same spool size, profile, lightness, I mean, why not call this the Shimano Metanium shallow edition DC? <laughs> So what do you guys think? Is it worth purchasing it? Is it worth putting it in your arsenal? In my opinion, yes, man. I love the Shimano Metanium DC. I think this new whole redesign being smaller than the previous generation and all the technology that they are putting into this reel, it's honestly is a no brainer to me. Plus Digitaka right now has it the lowest price in the entire world and apply that coupon I just gave you at the beginning of this video. Hey, you're saving more extra dollars on top of that. But guys, let me know in the comments, are you gonna purchase this reel? Do you think it's too expensive? Do you think it's not worth the money? I wanna hear your opinions because not everyone's gonna agree whether this Metanium DC is worth it or not. But in my opinion, it is. If you're a hardcore fisherman, you love the DC models, this is one of those mods you have to take a hard look at and I highly, highly recommend. But yeah, guys, that's it. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Once again, hit that like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one.